Welcome, brothers and sisters, to Praying Through the Psalter, a brief daily meditation upon the great 150 prayer songs of the Bible. Today on Devotional 155, please turn with me to Psalm 147. Psalm 147. As we do so, let me remind us of how we chiefly interpret the Psalms. We say first, these, these are the prayers of the Father to his children on earth to become our prayers back to our Heavenly Father. Secondly, the Psalter teaches us how to pray, what to pray for. And thirdly, every Psalm is Messianic. That is, it reveals the Messiah, Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Psalm 147 begins our last week together in the Psalter. And appropriately, we end on the highest note of praise in all of the Bible. The last, um, the last part of the Psalter uh, are, is considered the great and grand doxology of the Psalms. It, it actually, the doxology or the praise ending to the Psalter actually began with Psalm 146. And of course, the doxology concludes with Psalm 150. So if you'll notice in your Bible, Psalms 146 through 150, they all begin with the proclamation, praise the Lord, and they all end with that same proclamation, praise the Lord. And so it's fitting that the Psalter would end uh, on this high note of praise and doxology. Indeed, uh, the whole purpose of the Psalter, if you want to bring it down to one point, one central reason that we have these great 150 prayer songs in the Bible is to, is to move us, to convict us, uh, to remind us, to fill us that we are to praise the Lord with every breath, with our whole lives, in all that we do. Praise the Lord is the ultimately uh, the meaning and the purpose of why God has put the Psalter in his holy word, that we might praise him. Psalm 147 begins and ends with praise the Lord. And in this psalm in particular, there are three things to note. Uh, the psalmist in 147 um, says that we are to praise the Lord chiefly for two reasons within this psalm. One is creation, that God has made all things, including he has given us life, each one of us, and, and this amazing gift of life and creation. And secondly, we are to praise him then for his faithfulness and faithful love toward us and in our salvation, our redemption, our saving. So Psalm 147 says, why should we praise the Lord? Well, let us praise the Lord because of creation, that he's the creator, and let us praise the Lord because he's the redeemer that he made us and then he has saved us for himself. And so creation and redemption become foundational to our whole lives and worship uh, of praise. And then Psalm 147 says that uh, for those who know this, for those of us who know that God made us, who who call upon him as our Redeemer and Savior by faith, then it is incumbent upon us. It is our responsibility because we have been given and believed this word of God that we must tell others about it. And so the psalm ends on a, on a note to our responsibility that God has given his word not to all the nations, but he has given his word to his covenant people, to Israel, and to the church that's been grafted into Israel. And it's our responsibility to remember and believe this word, but also our responsibility to carry it forth to the nations who do not know God and his word, who do not realize that they should praise the one true God because of creation and redemption. Listen to how Psalm 147 ends, verses 18 through 20. He sends out his word and melts them. He makes his wind blow and the waters flow. He declares his word to Jacob, his statutes and rules to Israel. He has not dealt thus with any other nation. They do not know his rules. Praise the Lord. And so 
the nations do not know the great Torah, the teaching, the rules, the righteous decrees of our Lord. The nations don't realize who they're supposed to praise or why they're supposed to praise him. But we do, because the Lord has revealed himself to us. We know that all things come from him and belong to him. We know that he alone is our Redeemer in the Messiah, Jesus our Lord. We know this. The word has been given to us and we have believed this word. So may our praises, brothers and sisters, not simply start stop with our own hearts, but may our praises flow out of our hearts so that others all around us, eventually all nations, will come and praise the Lord with us. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you, be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with his whole countenance and give you his peace. In the name of God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.